ladies. How are you? I hope everyone's doing amazing. Uh, today's is kind of a little special treat because it's a double feature Friday. So you guys will see this in the afternoon on Friday. Um, we have some items right here from One Day Savings. I've been working with One Day Savings for about six months now. And I really enjoy um, working with them. Great customer service, great selection. One Day Savings, if you're new, is um, a budget-friendly company. <clears throat> and they offer a wide range of cross-stitch, um, <clears throat> diamond painting, diamond painting accessories, special projects, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, so they sent me over um, a few items to review. All right, so let us get into it. So I'm going to save the canvas for last, and I'm going to show you this. So what this is is a metallic photo frame. This is another budget-friendly option if you would like to frame some of your finished project products. This one will fit a 30 by 40. So let's get into it. Um, I chose black. They do have some other colors, and I'm ripping this plastic, but that is okay. I'm not quite sure how this works, but we're going to figure it out together. So it did come a little bent and wrinkled. Um, so I'm not sure how much, you know, that might affect how it, the overall finish looks. Um, maybe they could package it a little different than just in that plastic because the top portion of this, as you can tell, as well as the back is very wrinkled. So let's try it out. Um, this is what it looks on the, uh, like on the back. It's kind of got like paper stayed on the back and then the rest is magnets right here. So we're going to flip it up like that. Um, I'm not going to trim this one because um, I'm not done with it yet. Well, I'm finished with it, but I'm not done with what I want to do. I'm just bringing this out. So yesterday I finished my beautiful picture of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Um, everybody, we need a little bit of Ruth in our life right now. <clears throat> so this would definitely have to be trimmed. As you can see right here, there is a good, let's check out how much is on the end. Like a good one and a half uh, centimeters on each end. And then on the bottom, so if that was trimmed, this would fit perfectly. Um, <clears throat> so you just kind of stick it in there, and then you bring this down. See, once this is trimmed, it'll fit perfectly. Um, so after that, um, you'd have to stick it, because there's the magnet, sorry, on the back. You'd have to stick it to something metal for it to stay up on the wall, I believe. Um the thing is about this, um, let me try and hold it up because it doesn't really stay in there as well. So I'm not sure if it's because I still need to trim the edges off, but even so, it should be sticking together on this as well. And it really doesn't. Um, plus, because it is very wrinkled, um, like crinkled and stuff, your final image really doesn't look that great because there's like bubbles and folds in here. So it might work a little bit better if they packaged it in something besides um, the plastic. So that is that. If any of you have had better luck with this, leave me a comment below and let me know how it might work. Let's move on. Um, so we have here a diamond painting. This one, I absolutely loved the image. I will be linking everything below. Um, it's a 30 by 40. I believe it is a round. This is perfect for either the darker side of diamond painting or the event that I am co-hosting with my fabulous friends, Christopher and Maritza in August. More to follow on that. But if this is something that you like, I'm showing it to you now that for you could um, snag it. So this does come with your basic toolkit. You get a boat, a piece of wax, and your standard diamond painting pen. This is really everything you need to diamond paint. Here are our drills, the good ones. They come in this strip. 
right here. They do not have the DMC code on here. They just have the kit number, but they do have the numbers which will correspond and we'll take a look at that. Um, so right now you can kind of see it's got a darker color palette. So uh, these are poured blue. I am gonna roll this backwards for you. <laughs> Now, this image may not, little uh, disclaimer, this image may not be for everyone, so I understand if it is not to your liking. It is dark, I'm letting you know now. So, here we have it. Um, this is very folded. Let me try and pull this back. It is of a nun, and she is crying, and she has black tears. This reminded me of not the actual nun from the horror from the horror movie, the nun, but the other nuns that were in the movie as well. Um, <clears throat> I thought the image was really, really cool, and I wanted to snag it up. All right, so this just needs to rest. We have our thumbnail and our kit number, which corresponds to the drill. So two B two five three seven. And then you see B2537 on here. We have two legends, upper left, lower right, and there are 24 colors in here. Um, there's some color blocking throughout, but there is also some confetti. There's some confetti right in her fingers and up here. There is some confetti up here in the corners where it looks like she's standing in an archway and there's some a little bit of confetti here. So it is actually a really good mixture of confetti and color blocking. <clears throat> so on to the drills, right? You can see it's a much darker color palette. We do have some peachy flesh color tones right here, which would probably be for her fingers and her face. There is some pink in here as well, and there is white, but mostly it's the dark blues, some lighter blues. Um, there's some burgundy in here, gray, um, black, of course. Um, so it's not like an overly colorful color palette, which you can probably assume by the image itself. Um, but I think it'll be really cool. This would also be awesome for Halloween as well, or just for every single day. Um, I would do this one on any given day. I don't need a special event for it, but I just really, really uh, liked this one. <clears throat> so let's put this one aside. Now... I do have a third a third thing to show you, but unfortunately, I am not going to be able to show you the image. Um, it was really super, super cute. I did do my due diligence and did a reverse image search, and nothing came up. So, however, after I chose this one, I had noticed on the Diamond Art Club website, uh, Facebook group, I should say, the VIP group, that somebody had posted pictures with an artist name attached basically asking Diamond Art Club for considering uh, licensing this particular artist. Um, so me, I cannot show this to you knowing that it is attached to an artist. I want you guys to know that I always do my very, very best to show you uh, stock, stock and free images or like special, like mandalas and things of that nature, things with special drills. So I do apologize. So I'm not going to show you the canvas. However, I will show you the drills. Um, to kind of give you guys an idea of what else One Day Savings offers. It's, everything is not very dark. And I've shown, um, I've done videos before, so I will go ahead and throw um, a video up in the eye for you uh, from another unboxing I did from One Day Savings. Um, you know, I want to really quickly say that uh, China does not have the same licensing cop uh, copyright uh, laws that we have here in the United States. So that is why they are able, to, not saying that it's right, I'm not saying that it's right, but they don't have the same laws. So therefore, that is why they are able to basically take this artwork and uh, repeat, um, replicate it and sell it. But it is our job as crafters, as diamond painters, on lovers of art, that we do our very, very best um, to avoid those images unless we are purchasing them from a licensed and premium diamond painting. 
I'm not going to go any more into this. You guys already know how I feel about this. So let us show the colors. This is around. And look at these bright, beautiful colors. We have oranges. We have teals, hot pink. We've got that avocado green, some other shades of green, uh, black, pink, orange, burgundy, purples, a really bright green back here, and then a yellow. Um, their drill quality is really, really awesome. And I really do enjoy um, purchasing, or per I have purchased, but uh, reviewing items for this company. Um, they're really great. All right, you guys, well, I'm sorry this is such a short video. Um, I was anticipating it to be a little bit, little bit longer, but here we are right now. So let's recap real quick. You know, we've got these bright colors. And I will not be linking this kit below also, by the way. So we have our nun, our scary nun. She's telling you to be quiet. It's a 30 by 40 um, with 24 colors. I really love this. And second, we do have the magnetic frame for those of you that have um, are interested in uh, cheaper alternative ways to hang and showcase your diamond painting. Um, me personally, I think this um, this product would be a lot better if they had pa packaged it maybe in a bubble mailer instead of just the plastic because it it did come kind of, you know, bent and crinkled, which is not going to, oh my God. Okay. There is a, a plastic film over it also to let you guys know, but I don't really think that that's going to make much of a difference, but we're going to check it out. I did not know this was over. So with, even with that plastic gone, you guys, it is still crinkled, but let's see if it sticks any better. Remember, you will have to trim your paintings. I'm still going to hold it up. So see, it does fall right out. Um, yeah, so I will let you guys uh, be the judge of what you think about this particular item. I think it's a great idea. I just think it needs to be constructed a little bit differently or packaged differently. All right, you guys, well, that is it for me. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, if you like my content and want to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like, share, all that fun stuff. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.